This is a Chinese folklore titled Confucius's short story Yan Hui loses his hat. Yan Hui, who likes to study and behaves well, is Confucius's favorite student. One day, while Yan Hui is running some errand, he noticed that there is a crowd surrounding a cloth store. Yan Hui found out that there is a dispute between a customer and a store owner. He heard the customer yelling, 3 times 8 equals to 23. Why are you asking me to pay 24? Yan Hui stepped forward and said, Sir, 3 times 8 equals to 24. How did it come to 23? Your calculation is wrong. Stop making a commotion. The customer remains unsatisfied, pointing at Yan Hui's nose and said, Who asked you for your opinion? Who do you think you are? If we want to solve a dispute, we will only approach Confucius. Only his words count. Come on and let's get him to solve this dispute. Yan Hui said, What if Confucius said that you are wrong? The customer said, If I am wrong, I will lose my head. What if you are the one that is wrong? Yan Hui said, If I am wrong, I will lose my head. While they are betting, they found Confucius. Confucius heard the story, smiled, and said, 3 times 8 equals to 23. Yan Hui, you lost. Hand over your head to that person. Yan Hui never questioned his teacher. When he heard Confucius say that he is wrong, he took his head off and handed it over to the customer. The customer took his head and walked away triumphantly. While Yan Hui always obeys Confucius' judgment, he could not understand why is his calculation wrong. He thought that Confucius is getting old and is confused, and he decided that he should stop studying under Confucius. The next day, Yan Hui told Confucius that he needs to go back to his hometown and would like some time off to go back. Confucius understands what is Yan Hui thinking. However, he did not point it out and approved his leave. Before Yan Hui leaves, he bid farewell to Confucius. Confucius told him to go back home as soon as possible once he finishes his duties, and told him, Thousand-year-old tree doesn't preserve life. Do not murder in confusion. Yan Hui replied that he will keep it in his mind, and left. On his way, the wind and clouds stirred up, and a downpour started. Yan Hui proceeds to hide under a hollow tree to stay away from the rain. He suddenly remembers Confucius' phrase, Thousand-year-old tree doesn't preserve life. He thought to himself, as his student, let's listen to his advice one more time, and started walking away from the tree. After a moment, he saw lightning striking the tree and destroy the tree. Yan Hui was shocked, thinking that his teacher's first prediction is correct. He thought to himself, will I really murder someone else? By the time Yan Hui reaches home, it is already dipped in the night. He did not want to wake up his family and uses his blade to pry off the bolt of the bedroom his wife is in. Yan Hui touches the bed and found that there are two people lying in the bed. And rage, he wields his blade over his head. Then realized Confucius' second prediction. Do not murder in confusion. He lights up his lantern and found out that his wife and his younger sister is sharing a bed. Daylight approaches. Yan Hui went back to Confucius, kneeled and said, Teacher, your two phrases saved me, my wife, and my sister's life. How did you know what is going to happen? Confucius helped up Yan Hui and said, It is very dry and hot yesterday. That is why I predicted thunderstorm and told you that a thousand-year-old tree doesn't help preserve life. I also noticed that you were walking in anger and you have a blade with you. Therefore, I warn you to not murder if you are confused. Yan Hui bowed and said, Your situation awareness is godlike. Your student admires you. Confucius then proceeds to say, I know that the reason of your leave is false and you think that I am old and confused. And you do not want to study under me anymore because of that. You need to understand that if I were to say that 3 times 8 equals to 23 is correct, you will only lose your head. If I say 3 times 8 equals to 24 is correct and he lost, 
that is a person's life. Do you think that your head is worth a person's life? Yan Hui realized and kneeled in front of Confucius and said, You judge that preserving a person's life is more important than solving a small issue. I thought that you were getting old and confused. I am extremely ashamed. After this incident, no matter where Confucius went, Yan Hui never left his side.